Hey guys, I made a new product and I'm going to show you now. Here it is. This is the USB Nova. As you can see, it comes in a variety of colors. It's a bad USB I made. If you don't know what a bad USB is, I made some videos about that and a couple of blog posts. But let me just show you the product real quick because it's it really looks kind of cute. So it's this small USB device. As you can see, it has a 3D printed case. It has a little switch here and you can actually open up the case. So we have our microcontroller here, a RGB LED, a little button and a slide switch. So it's a bad USB, but let me just show you what that means. So we can connect it with the little slide switch down. That means it's in setup mode. And here you can see the RGB LED. The case is also printed in a way that this is diffused quite nicely, although the camera is not picking it up that well. But anyway, now if we go over to the computer and I plug this in, you see a drive pops up. So this actually supports mass storage. Yeah, it doesn't have much memory, but you know, we don't need that. We just have to store scripts on here. And if you open it, you will see two files. We have the main script and the preferences. And some of you might already know why this is kind of cool at this point already, because most bad USBs, you have to program them or you have to use a SD card or something like that. And here you can just connect it in setup mode and then edit your bad USB script from here, from your computer right away. So now we can add our script. Let's just put a hello world in the run window. And we can actually now run this script while it's connected and while this thing is in setup mode by just switching this to the top. And you can see the LED changed there for a second. I know the camera is really not picking that up. I promise you in real life this looks a lot better. But yeah, it turned red because it's running the script and then it turned back to blue, which means it's in setup mode. As you can see here, this is the window it opened. It said hello world. I can also just run it again so you can see it. There it is. Happens super, super fast. So if you don't know what a bad USB is, this is it. This little thing is looking like a USB drive or something like that. But it's actually a keyboard. And we can program it to type whatever we want in these little scripts. The scripting language is made to be compatible with the classic Ducky script language that you know and love. You can find tons of scripts online. I don't want to go too deep into scripting here. I just wanted to show you a quick example because I have actually documented the entire language and everything you need to know about this product. But before we go onto the website and I show you all the documentation, I just want to emphasize that this is really, really easy to use. You have this little switch. If you connect it in this position, you are in setup mode. It won't attack your computer. You simply connect it and edit the files on the drive. And if you disconnect it, put it into attack mode and then connect it, then it will immediately start running your script and it will turn green when it's done. That's basically all you have to know to use this. If you want to reprogram it, go back into setup mode, connect it, and then edit the files. As you can see, there's a second file here, which is called preferences.json, and you can also open that, and this is where all the settings live. So we can change a couple of things here. For example, we can change the USB device IDs so that this thing pretends to be, for example, an Apple keyboard so that when you connect it to a Mac, this little pop-up doesn't show up, that the keyboard assistant thing. You can make it look like whatever you want, basically. So you can also change the script that it's running. If you have multiple scripts on your drive, you can change which one it should run here. There are also a couple of other things like the default delay and the keyboard layout. But yeah, this is it. It's a really easy to use bad USB. But now let's have a look at the website. It's usbnova.com and this is where you can find all there is to know about this product. And if you click on get started, you will see the entire documentation, basically. I'm going to go to dark mode because I prefer that. But um, yeah, so here you have the main features. If you want to learn more about how this actually works and what a bad USB is, you can also find a little write-up about that here. What else we have usage. This also explains how you put it into setup mode, connect it, edit the file, how you can change the keyboard layouts. There are two ways you can change it within the script itself or you can change it in the preferences. We have a little tutorial on how to prevent this keyboard setup assistant on macOS. Um, this is what I've talked about a minute ago about changing the USB device IDs because this can prevent this pop-up from happening. And this pop-up can be really annoying, could break your bad USB scripts. Also the different modes and colors. Basically there are only two modes, setup and attack mode. All the scripting stuff is also explained here. I won't go over everything, but just to show you some of the stuff. So this is where you can find all the functions available in the scripting language. The scripting language is made to be compatible with the classic 
Ducky Script 1.0, so you can find a bunch of scripts online. But if you still need to learn it, everything is also documented here. Uh, these are all the keyboard layouts that are available, including those for macOS. Pretty cool. If you need to add some longer comments, then this is now possible. If you want to type some really large strings that include line breaks, you can also do that now. If you want to loop commands, then you can also do that. You can import scripts from within a script. So you know how we have this USB drive? We can now make a second script. And then in our main script, we could import second .txt, this is what I call it, yeah. And then we can go into second txt and yeah, just do what we did before. Let me just quickly run this to show you that it works, yeah. That's how easy it is. So you can have multiple files, multiple scripts on that drive. You can also use this USB drive in attack mode to exfiltrate data or copy data onto the target computer if you want. What else? You can also change the LED color and you can make it blink slowly or fast or to whatever millisecond interval you like. Um, and if you cannot find a key specified in the language, but you still need to press it or press a specific key combination that just isn't possible to do in, the, in, in this language, then you can use the key code command where you can basically define the raw bytes that are sent to the computer. All the keys that are available in the language are also described here. And there's also a page explaining the functions uh, for the mouse, USB mouse feature. So moving the cursor, clicking, scrolling, all that stuff is in here. The preferences are also explained here, including what each of those settings does. Updating the firmware is also really easy. You just download it from the Git, open the case, plug it in, press this little button, and then you can drag and drop that file onto the drive. It will then update itself and you can just put it back into its cover and that's it. So really, really easy. If you want to learn a bit about the history, why I make bad USBs, I also made a little write-up about that here. Also some cool links, so where you can buy it, where to find the firmware, where to find the 3D model of the case. All of that stuff is here as well. Now, if you're interested in this product, then head over to spaceun.store. You can get it there. You can also get replacement cases here. I also have a sale going on with some of the other products. If you would like to buy my online course as well, you can get both at a pretty steep discount right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about this project. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm not super good at making marketing product videos, whatever. I just want to show you this thing because I think it's freaking cool and it, it looks cool and it's cute and, you know, I made it and it's open source. Also, if you buy one, you get a little card and a sticker included for free. I think I made it because I, I really like lowering the bar of entry into hacking and I've really hated to always having to mess with micro SD cards and even something like the Wi-Fi duck is, I mean, it's kind of cool because you can remote control a bad USB, but you still have to connect to Wi-Fi and this can be really annoying if you use a device that only has one network connection and then you lose access to the internet, which you might need. With this thing, all you need is a USB port. And you can plug this into your phone or tablet as well. You just need a USB-C adapter. By the way, USB-C edition, should I, should I make one? I'm thinking of making one. If you buy one, then you support me doing exactly that. So developing new open source projects that help people educate about this kind of hacking stuff. Obviously, I don't think anyone uses a thing that looks so like obvious and, and colorful for bad purposes. It's really not made to be incognito or anything like that. It's made to be easy to use, okay? Because I know that you guys, I know that, that my community likes playing with these things, likes testing them out. And I think that something like this makes it a lot more accessible and a lot, a lot more fun than something that just looks like any other regular USB drive. You can also check out my blog. I made a couple of posts this year about bad USBs, but also about other projects I've been working on that I haven't made a video about yet. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you sometime. I don't know. Goodbye.